Well, here we are out at the bee yard, March 27th, 2020. And I have to keep reminding myself that it is still only March. Um, it was beautiful for a while. And this week it's been 20s and 30s at night. And gray and a mere maybe mid-40s there in the day. And so here we are uh, coming out to do a little bee work. See how everyone's looking out here. See, we got some bees. There's some bees. Those are Saskatraz bees. But I'm going to vape them. Uh, come out and just do another round of vape. Got some dead bees. Well, we've got a couple of bees flying. There's the Cordovan. One of the Cordovans just flew out. There's some of the girls right there. Anyway, so I'm just going to tape them up, tape up entrances uh, so that we can get a good roll of vape going on here. So that damn gopher, I need to take care of him or he's going to dig a big burrow under here. Anyway, um, all right, well, that's what I got. Practicing a little social distancing, which I'd just as soon be out here than any place else, short of, like, say, home. Uh, so... These girls are flying, that's good. That's the Dalton Hive. Right there, a little dead bee right here. On there. Hi, babe. So this hive, uh, this hive is a North Idaho hive. Obviously, all of them are. Um, but this is probably one of the oldest, and these bees fly when it is... 30 degrees out these bees will be flying it's unbelievable uh their genetics super used to the cold weather up here which is great um inherited them so i don't know what um what genetic of bee they are per se um this this hive you can look back on some of my other videos but this hive went four years untreated four years a guy put this uh there's four hives this was one of the only ones that or the only last one that made it all the rest of them died out or swarmed out um but uh they were in some friends yard uh some of my wife's friends had them and the guy put them up and never came back to um take care of them and so this hive went four years there which i'm sure swarmed out a couple of times um untreated never treated for mites and i inherited this hive last year still alive and doing phenomenal right now um, i have started treating them just like i do all of my other hives um, but we are gonna treat them today but that uh so that's why i say like this hive this dalton hive is going to make uh incredible splits and genetics um just gen great genetics in it used to the cold and um really really great on uh minimal mite loads so another thing you need to do is replace that bottom board so just little stuff here so let's fire up the vape and see if we can get some vape for these guys so gotta remember it's only march uh another i see out about uh, 10 days it's supposed to be warming back up so looking forward to april and more bee weather and more um it be the ability to make splits that's why i haven't made any splits yet is because if i would have made splits they would have died um the queens can't you know i mean even if they kept one queen cell warm um the queens can't fly in this there are drones in my hives but queens can't fly in this in this weather um the young queens can't so um, got another little surprise going on, uh, got a separate yard, and so this is going to become the north yard, and I am just now, uh, within the past week, setting up on the south yard, and the south yard, um, is going, I'm going to take probably half of these hives down to the south yard, just onto the other end of town, which you guys will be able to see here real soon, so I'm going to get vaping and, uh, get these guys covered up so I can go home. Everybody's closed up. 
just some tape over all of their entrances except for their lowers which I will turn to the smallest side of the reducer tape she's not happy with me she wants in there and I took her entrance away so she'll figure it out but anyway oh I didn't close that one either um, she wouldn't have to but uh, everybody's closed up and so the one thing I did want to address too is these colonies are huge um, some of these colonies are great big as you can see three deeps two deeps and a medium two deeps and a western uh, they're huge colonies um, and with that when you're managing your colonies you really have to and again this not ever telling you guys how to do it I'm showing you how I do it um, every beekeeper is going to do things differently um, but uh, with me um, if you uh, of course everybody wants and likes to have big colonies because it gives you a hell of a hell of a honey crop because you have a lot of workers in there but it's also can be a mite bomb you know um, and a lot of people will say that a lot of a lot of old timers especially will say that that you've really got to stay up on your mite loads because it's a huge colony and so because of that you're going to have a larger number of of mite issues um, it's no different than you know me living in north idaho and in the in the county that i'm in have like nine reported cases of the covid right now um like maybe a hundred in the state short of New York, where there is a shitload of people, it also has like 45,000 cases of COVID right now. And so I guess that's probably the best way to say it is think of the mites as being a virus. Um, larger colonies are going to have larger loads for the most part. And so um, that's why, you know, you might see me treat a lot. And I do because mites will kill your hive. Um, I have, uh, apivar on the way and when it gets here, um, and when the weather's nice, um, and when I do hive rotations and I break in here to all the hives and, and, uh, I see which ones I can make splits out of, I will put apivar in 60 days of apivar. Say, even if I have it on by April 15th, it'll bring me to June and that's right when the honey flow is going to be starting. So I'll pop it off. If need be, um, I can run some Max, but uh, that's about the only, Formix about the only thing that'll run when um, the honey's on, you know, when the honey flow's on. So um, anyway, everyone's closed up here. We're going to start vaping before I lose my, before I lose any dry weather here. So let's get to it. And there's my old dog, Frank. That's the old timer. She's 13. Say hi, Frank. Hey Frank, right here. Oh, she hears the whistle pigs. Oh, I hear the whistle pigs. All right, let's get going. As you can see, they don't like it, but 
it's good for him. Keeps him healthy. These guys were, uh, these Italians were out here digging around, but they've all gone back in. And these girls are out here kind of playing around too. They don't like it, um, but here again, keeps them healthy. So that's it. That's what we got. Everybody's uncovered uh, and uh, gonna start grooming themselves here pretty soon and hopefully groom off some mites. I know there's mites in my hives. I know there's mites in your hives. Everybody's got them. Um, and if you say that you don't have mites, um, you're very much misinformed or uh, you already have dead bees, one of the two. So. Uh, that is what I've got for today. I see Ty over here. My buddy Ty is over here uh, scraping his field. So anyway, that's what I got. Hoping for warm weather soon. You guys stay safe and um, practice social distancing. So get out and work some hives if you can in your area. And uh, wash your damn hands. It's Tim Ott, Post Falls Honey Company. Talk to you guys soon.